Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. Tonight I'm gonna make a short video for you guys on how I pack my eBay envelopes for shipping cards. It's cards and coins under $20 in value, and it's definitely a really cost-effective way to ship cards that maybe aren't those cards that sell for 30, 40, 50, you know, hundred dollars. It's uh the money makers. This guy right here, Tyson Campbell. I currently don't have him in a sleeve yet. I'm gonna show you guys that. He sold for about three or four dollars and it's definitely super cost effective to just ship him for 91 cents. It's uh, three ounces or less for 91 cents in a standard envelope. I think this is 3.6 by six and a half inches, which uh, fits the parameters. Never had any issues with that. Um, I have my envelope, I have my label, I have my one touch bags, I have my penny sleeve, my top loader, uh, two base cards, the card that I sold, packing tape, sorry, packing tape and painter's tape. So super simple, I'll make this quick. I know most of you guys know this, I just figured I would help somebody out that maybe doesn't or is just getting into card collecting or starting to sell cards. Always a penny sleeve, always a top loader, okay. I don't use scotch tape, um, I've had that before, it always leaves residue. Um, painter's tape always has worked best for me. So the card doesn't fall out of the top. Next. I'll put a base card behind and I'll put a base card in front of the top loader for more structural integrity. This is where your one touch bag comes into play. This can hold um, obviously one touches up to what is it? 200 point, 280 point, something like that. So it can hold quite a bit. If you want to ship you know, three, four, five cards. It'll be pretty close, but I think it can fit it. As you can see I have two base cards. It has a little strip right here, so you can seal it. Like so, looks good. Put those off to the side. So next, you see a lot of different people do this different ways. In my envelopes, I always just grab a piece of painter's tape. Again, it doesn't leave marks, it comes off easy. I'll pull it up and show you guys, but I will lay a strip down that holds my bag in place so my card doesn't move around. If it hits a big package, if they're maybe a little rough handling it, then it stays in place. So I don't lick my envelopes, so I'll just get a little wet on the tip. You'll see why I don't lick them in a second. I'm gonna try to do my best to um, not show the address of who I'm shipping this to on the label. So I'll just put that in front. As you can see, it's right there. I try to center it as good as possible. What's easiest for me with my um, packing tape, I'll lay it down, I'll pull a nice, nice strip. Do my best to keep that um, label centered i'll lay it down and on the very bottom of the envelope right here i give it about an extra three quarters to an inch so i'll fold it up onto the envelope pull a little bit more i will flip my envelope you can also do it while you're you know pulling it the other way it's kind of hard to do on camera sorry my tape, fold it back over. I kind of go overkill with the packing tape, but the only thing that I can do is make it more structurally sound so it won't bend. So again, there we go. Oh, took a little chunk out there. That won't really matter in a second and I'll show you why. So I tape both sides. Um, this most likely would be fine, but I prefer 
just like I was just saying, I prefer to give it a little bit more structure just in case. You never know. There's some really rough handlers. So we'll uh, tape it across the top once. And we'll tape it across the bottom once. A lot of packing tape, but it just makes sure that the card gets there safe. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, guys.